Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Uh, hopefully it'll be a bit more, a bit more uh, exciting for this week. Uh, I don't have as much sewing to do, so um, yeah, it'll be mainly, I'm hoping to actually sculpt uh, the Sitatunga or the Bongo uh, head this week. Um, but we'll see what we can get done. So first things first, um, I think I showed you in the last week's vlog that I got all the faux fur in for the Calgary Zoo dolls, but there was one that was pink. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do with the pink one is I'm going to do, I mentioned it in last week's vlog as well, I'm going to do a, an, a um, uh, flying fox, uh, like a ruby flying fox with black wings. Um, so I'll have to cut the body out for that and do a quick loop so they don't take long to um, sew up half of it. Um, but yeah, so I'll do that this week. But I went to, because the retail stores are open in Melbourne now, so we're kind of a little bit free. We've had zero cases the last couple of days, uh, which is really good, or really low cases, um, mostly zero. Um, Ooh, yeah, our retail stores are now open, so I went to a the local crafty store here in Australia called Spotlight because um, sometimes they have pretty good um, faux furs, and I thought I would. Uh, I went to one, but they didn't have what I needed. But I went to another one, and I found some faux fur that would work exactly right for the prairie dog. So. It's perfect, it's the right colour, it's the right everything. I have this faux fur in grey, but I can't use grey. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a slight brown. Um, so it works perfect for the prairie dog. And yeah, right there on the shelf waiting for me. And it was only $25 a metre, so I don't know what went on there. Because um, they're usually like $70 a metre, but yeah, it was $25 a metre. So I got a metre. Um, I might go back and see if there's other faux fur on sale, if I can get cheap. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works really well. So that's all of the fur sorted for all of the bodies, uh, all of the bodies for the dolls, or Calgary Zoo dolls. Um, yeah, so I can start making them all now. Um, that's exciting. Uh, what else? Um, but yeah, I'll have to do a pattern for, for it and, uh, see if I can show you kind of it's like a, you can't really tell the color but yeah it's great for a prairie dog and I can even add like a little bit of yellow color as well or brown color as well just to um change things a little bit anyway I'm gonna put that over here I also got just got some black fabric for um uh, flying fox wings so um I want to see what it looks like if I use black fabric because I've been using white fabric for black wings um, yeah so I want to see what that looks like um, might do a couple of, ex of experiments with that and uh, yeah I've been doing a bit of casting as well I have um, been casting some flying fox heads so my plan is to have maybe four flying foxes go up I'm making five ones for a commission um, so my plan is to have four go up. One is the white one, one is the brown with rust neck. One, it will be the rose, um, the rose colored one, or the, the ruby colored flying fox. And the third one, I'm not sure which one I should make. I was thinking a solid black one, but, um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking more of a gray one. Um, I'm not too sure of the colour. So if you have any colour suggestions that you want to see, leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can add that to um, the pile. So yeah, I want to get a, a total of four up because they seem to be quite popular and um, yeah, I just want to get a couple up in my shop um, and see. It probably won't be for a while because it's in between the Calgary Zoo dolls um, and also the white raccoon will be in between the dolls as well. Um, but yeah, I think I want to start trying to put the ferret together this week as well because I've got the body sewn um, and then at least I'll have one doll almost done. Uh, I'm still sort of on the hunt for the shoe bill um, fur. I found a grey one on the weekend but it had um, like a dark grey undertone and it just didn't work for, um, 
for the shoe builder also. I might go to a different spotlight and see what kind of fur they have there. Um, I'm just after just I've seen it before and I've seen it in there before. Uh, it's just a plain, uh, a plain grey fur without the undertone. So that's what I need to find. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this week. That's a that's a big plan. Today is a public holiday and tomorrow is also a public well today's not a public holiday but we have it off. Um and tomorrow is a public holiday, so short week for me. It's a day and a half of actual proper work. <laughs> and um yeah, so I should have a little bit of time to do some things this week and it might have a more exciting vlog. <laughs> Last week was just really boring and sewing and cutting and sewing and cutting and sewing and cutting and sewing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll uh, catch up with you after I do stuff. sort of trying to concentrate on um, the the ferret because that body is sewn up and needs to be um, glued sewn together and stuffed um, but yeah so that's what we've got so far uh, it's the first one that is almost finished for the Calgary Zoo order um, so hopefully I'm gonna see if I can uh, do some sewing today so I'm going to glue glue the head first and uh, let it dry for a little bit and see if I can um, get some sewing done as well. Um, but yeah, it's kind of coming along alright. Uh, I've also been working on the white um, raccoon just in between things. Uh, so we'll need to glue that on as well. But yeah, I'll probably won't work on this anymore today <coughs> or this week. Um, I quickly sewed together two uh, flying fox bodies, so this is the um, ruby one. I decided to go with the um, one colour instead of the different neck, um, <clears throat> but there's always more opportunity for different coloured ones. And also I used some of that uh, prairie dog uh, faux fur that I picked up on the weekend to do another body and a little rust coloured neck as well so there's five bats that I'm working on <clears throat> I also painted up um, the commission for the bat I still need to do um, a whole bunch of casting for the other ones um, probably halfway done with the casting for the rest of them but um, yeah that one's coming along nicely and I also cut out a whole bunch of wings as well so I need to um Cat's meowing in the background. What are you doing? 
<coughs> so yeah I'll need to um, cut out some more material for the wings and um, I guess wait till all of these are cast so I can put them all together but yeah I'm gonna be working on the commission obviously first um, I'm gonna try do it using black fabric um, and see how that turns out and see if I like it and uh, might save a whole lot of time on um, making the wings as well because they're very uh, time consuming I should say and they're very taxing on the fingers so where I sewed up that last one um, all of the fur on the tips uh, all of the skin on the tips is coming off Boo. <coughs> uh, so yeah I will um, get to work I guess and see what I can get done today don't know if I'm gonna get any sculpting but if I do hopefully the penguin feet sculpting but yeah maybe we'll see catch up with you for this week um, I got a bit done uh, I got a fair bit of painting done so I painted up the flying fox commission I did a little bit more casting for the rest of the flying foxes um, but not all of them so I have My cat just spewed um, anyway so yeah, I have two more to cast, I think, and then um, and then I can start assembling all of the flying foxes. Um, yeah, so I painted one. This one's for the commission. I painted the hands as well. Um, I also painted the parts for um, for the raccoon. So I painted the parts for the raccoon. I'm giving him like a little pink brown nose. Um, and also brown pads um, and then he's going to be white he's going to have um, like brown stripes and stuff so assembled the body for that one and then uh, glued the head ready to be sewn and put together so it should be available in my shop in the coming weeks um, and also started sewing up the ferret doll obviously needs a trim and stuff but uh, sewed up the front half gonna sew up the back half this week and then probably finish this doll off and it'll be the first one ready for the Calgary Zoo. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, turning out pretty well. I like the colouring. Um, but yeah, needs a bit of a trim. I haven't glued anything yet because uh, I want to make sure it's all correct. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've got so far. Starting to look like a ferret. I'll have to do some blending here. Um, because it's just like a straight stripe, but I'll have to do some blending um, in the future when I finish, finish sewing it up and give it a trim. But yeah, really cute. Um, and um, so that's pretty much what I did. I made the armature for the commissioned flank fox as well. So that's going to be. Uh, I'll be able to make the wings for it this week. Um, I also cut out a whole lot of wings as well, ready to be uh, put together. So once I've done all the casting, I can start assembling things. Um, 
because all the bodies are sewn and yeah also the plan for next week is to do a bit of sculpting and stuff but I'll go into that um, later on in the next vlog um, I reckon that's about it uh, oh I'm having problems with my eyes again um, not too sure what it is but very sore um, yeah I think that's it for this week uh, anyway I will um, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, patrons, thank you very much for supporting me again. I have a printable going up uh, next week, which will be a wolf body uh, pattern. One of the ones that I've used quite a lot. So I'm going to make that into a digital body pattern. I've got it halfway done. Um, so that's going up for my $5 and up tiers um, over on my Patreon. And yeah, you get a digital pattern of it and you can blow it up to whatever size you want and um yeah have a play around with that and also check me out on instagram facebook creatures of nat um my shop creaturesofnat.com as well and i'll catch you in the next one bye